Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Cat's Hotspot. And you know this show is about featuring entrepreneurs, nonprofits, creative people, and people with a story. And today I met an awesome woman at the gas station the other day with a powerful story to share. And I wanted everybody to know it because a lot of times we're going through things and we always think that we're not going to get through it. And she has made it through her storm and is continuing to make it. So I wanted to share this with you all. And her name is Miss Kim Harris. And she has a lot going on. But um, what brings us here today at my my um vir- uh, my virtual office is Barnes and Noble. We're going to talk about her story. So Kim, just just um share what brought you to Georgia because she's from out of state, y'all. You know I'm in Atlanta, and she just been here. What about? It'll be two years in December. Okay, two yeah. years in December. So she wants to share with you all and tell you what her journey was, so that this can empower somebody else to move forward in their lives. Hi, hope everybody's having a good day. I love Georgia. I love Georgia. I love the trees, the land, the landscaping. But I came to Georgia January of last year. And I moved down here because I have a product line that I started in 2010 from my daughter being diagnosed with cancer. I have a daughter that was diagnosed with cancer in 2009. And when she was losing her hair, you know, I decided to make a hair grease that originated from my grandmother. And I moved to Georgia because I felt like that it would be a better opportunity in the hair industry and what I was doing. But then I got here and got changed to things, you know. And 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 he's changed things in in the manner of uh, me having a a better understanding of what my purpose is, you know. And um, I feel good about what I'm doing, who I am. You know, I've had some setbacks, but, you know, setbacks on turn of testimony. So Mother May's hair food is a product, like I said, that originated from my grandmother. And I started mixing things together from what she showed me and added some other things to it. So I started mixing, started selling. I came up with a product called Mother May's hair food back in 2010. So when I moved to Georgia, I changed it to Mother Maze. And um, from that, I was able to create my own original formula that I am wanting to sell because God has taken me in a different direction of how he wants me to be in my giving and what he wants me to do in my purpose for my life. So, you know, we have some stumbling blocks. I'm going further. I'm reaching for the stars. I'm walking on blind faith, and I'm trusting, believing that my destiny is almost there. Oh yeah, for him to give you the the vision to be able to create something, because you know a lot of times with cancer patients, um, the hair comes out, and you're able that grease actually makes the hair grow. Tell them about the growth chart. Yes, yeah. so I, I actually have a growth chart that actually are original pictures of my scalp and my hair condition that I was dealing with a few years back. So I know my product works. I love it. Everybody loves it. It's probably people in Cincinnati, Ohio, waiting for it. It's coming. It's coming. So be patient. And uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting it out there and, and, you know, Handing it over to someone else. It's, it's going to come, but in the meantime, are they able to purchase any of it now? Well, you... I haven't been selling it lately okay. because I'm actually okay. working on my patent. Okay. Um, okay. I actually have another patent, something that I'm bringing into the hair industry that is also uh, on the market. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. It's You know, it helps a lot of people that's dealing with cancer, that has lost uh, their hair, sure. that wants that natural look, and yes. still want to be sick here. I, I know that's going to be successful because I know as a, as a um, black woman, my hair doesn't grow as fast. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, the older I've gotten, my hair is, 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 is it breaks. It has all mm-hmm. the kind of things going on. So if you're saying that you create something that will, you know, help it to to grow and be healthy, mm-hmm. yes. I, I want some of that. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why she didn't bring me that. <laughs> hey, I should have I should brought it, Jordan. I should have, because I do have some that I carry around for samples. So, yeah. Because I really, I know, I mean, like, you're in Atlanta, and I know. That's like 
that's a big deal. Right. We all we, we pay for other people hair all the time. Right. So why not pay for our own hair to grow? Yes. You know, yes. and then ladies yes. and gentlemen, she is a, a cosmetologist. Master cosmetologist. Well, no, I'm not a master cosmetologist. I've been doing hair for 15 years. Well, then you know. Then you know, know. and you studied. I study. Yeah, I study. I know the scalp. I know the, you know, my my hardest thing in in hair school was the bones. Learning the bones. You never believe that you have to learn every bone in your body to do hair. I'm just thinking, hey, I'm just going to get this comb. I'm going to put put these fourth uh, parts in here and I'm going to do your hair and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So we're hoping that God will move you soon, that we'll be able to see these products on the shelves um, everywhere, whether it's under yourself web or whether it's um, under your patent for another big business to come and buy. So somebody big need to come and try this out. Why not? You know, I mean, you got, you hearing it first on my show, Cat's Hotspot. Do you understand me? Check this out. Please check her out. And if they wanted to contact you, um, do you have an email or something? Yes, you know, somebody might address. be, you know, somebody might be an investor. I don't know. Hey, you know. my email address is kharrismanagement at gmail dot com. Okay, okay. Inbox me, ladies out there. You know, y'all stay strong, stay grounded, believe yes. God, trust God in your destiny. You know, deal with things in the spirit and not in the flesh, and you yes. will just. Explain, you know what? Explain that because some people don't understand it. Me, you talked about that the other day. Yeah. Explain what that is because a lot of times, as as people, women, whatever, we go through that. So explain it when when you're dealing with um stuff in the spirit because I know sometimes we go off. Been there, yes. Was there what's yesterday? That, what, what, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Was that, but you know, I, in in my young days, I used to just snap off and just get mm-hmm. upset. But I, I, you know, as uh, I'm 44 now, yeah, I'll be 45 on my next birthday. Hello, hello. Um, That's what and, you just, did. and just knowing that, you know, you start maturing, mm-hmm. you start maturing, you start maturing to God, and you start getting closer. When you have been through so many trials, yes. you can't do anything but pull closer to God. Yes. You know, yes. and then you know, I had to learn like, what would God do? People say, what would God do? God right. would do a lot when it comes to your thinking. Yes. You know, when it comes yeah. to your thinking and how you think and how you motivate yourself and just saying that, yeah. you know, when you deal with things in the spirit is that you deal with things spiritually. It's like you're looking at things totally different. When right, you're dealing right, with right. the flesh, it's like you mad, you upset, you ready to kick the door in. Right, right, so, right, you know, right. we have a lot of things to lose. The journey is already hard for yeah. a lot of our single parents out there. You know, just yeah. stay strong. I was a single parent. I was a mother at 17. Yes. At 17. Yeah. Oh, but you made it. But I made it. I made it. I yes. just, you know, had to just trust and believe that, you know, at the end of the day, the journey is not mine. It's the Lord's. So, you yes. know, it's his timing. Yeah. You know, it's not our timing. We just have to focus and, you know, turn our thinking in a different direction, you know, especially because we have kids, you know, yep, make man. good judgments, make good decisions, you know. You know, what's more important? Your kids. I love my kids. All four of them. I have four beautiful children and eight grandbabies and two new grandbabies that I have not even held yet. So Thanksgiving need to hurry up and get here. It's coming. It's coming. What? 27 days? Yeah. 27 days. Wow. Isn't that quick? Okay. Well, you know, we've had Kim here. We we um embraced her information. We're glad that you took time out of your busy morning to sit with us on Cat Top Spot. So let us know about your product, and I am sure that from this blog or whatever the words are, somebody's gonna hear it, and somebody's gonna contact you, and somebody's gonna want what you have, and whatever God said is for you for you to do, yes. you're definitely gonna do it, and, yes. and that's it. Yes, that's and it. I thank you for allowing me to share my testimony. Hey, that's hey, that's so that right. people know that God is the one. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in again to Cat's Hot Spot. Check you next week, and we'll see you later. Bye. Have a blessed week. I love y'all. <laughs>